Hi, and welcome to another tour by Hawaiian Shirt Papa. This one's of the JMS treasure chest on Ottawa Street in Hamilton. This front window portion has a nice selection of vintage photographic equipment. And just inside, you see a whole collection of different kinds of furniture. Now, there's a, one of them has a, these sealed up uh, comics on it. And then when you continue, you see these nice gold colored ceramic set. So here we're looking at these uh, various things on the wall. Well, welcome to this tour, tour with me vicariously. I'm trying a different intro there. And they've got some jewelry to look at. Costume and possibly some better stuff as well. Then we go around the center counter area. They've got a selection of colored glassware that makes it quite interesting. And uh, we're looking across here at some some of the other precious items that are in the cases. Uh, there's a bit of a thing in Hamilton about Wheaties. I think there was a Doug Flutie piece. Because he was playing for Hamilton at one point before going to greater things in the U.S. at the uh, NFL. Uh, a nice collection of grandma's type of uh, souvenirs for touring. Downstairs... They've got uh, uh, quite a selection of vintage clothes that uh, may have some great interest for some folks. I always keep an eye out for hats. So there was a nice one. I'm not sure if that was a men's or a women's. I think that's a men's, but it was in the women's area. And they had other items as well. And then we come into these uh, nice selection of vintage travel cases, suitcases as you might want to also call them. They're in fine shape. I thought the prices were okay. So you can see the other bits and pieces of clothes. They had men's, women's and children's along with footwear. See some of the prices they had. So quite a bit of furniture quite a bit not a huge selection of clothing but it's more of a curated set of clothes there and they are vintage so if you're looking for some of those kind of things include this shop on your walkabout but don't forget to go downstairs if you just look in the front door you won't see anything like this up there Not a huge area, but I tried to get a, a a glimpse of everything they had. Now we're back upstairs. At the top of the stairs, they've got some vintage uh, kitchenware. They also had some travel cases. There's a nice old uh, ice cube maker, a Pyrex coffee pot, and. An, a number of other vintage kitchen pieces and we turn around we see a, a nice selection of uh, Pyrex you see where we were again with the the jewelry a little more of a look at it And here we're focused on the, the more on the red portion of the glass. 
They also had die-cast cars. I, I saw the sign, but I didn't actually see them offhand. Coming into the, the, there's more of the photographic equipment here. Some old film reel cans. And these are home size. And then they had uh, a, a pretty good selection of lens. Some of which still work on current models of cameras. Now, that doesn't mean they'll do all of the functions of the current models of cameras, the DSLRs, but they will work in the manual mode at the least. Uh, I, just offhand, I did notice some Nikons, which we do have one or two of those bodies around. I've picked up some Nikon bo digital DSL bodies um, in, some, in my rounds. But then there's others that uh, have become obsolete otherwise, such as the Minoltas. And if you're looking for the Minoltas nowadays, they've actually become part of the Sony, but the components don't fit into each other. There's a photographic enlarger. And then they had uh, one of those rotating cases for other fine items. I think they might have been glass, uh, not glass, but coins. These were a nice selection of glassware that they have there. And we're getting into the other side of the store from the front. There was more furniture along with some other accessories that could go with them. Here's a nice uh, secretary desk. Uh, didn't focus on it more than what you just saw as a glimpse. But if you're there, you'll see if, if it's still there when you go, just inside the door. Interesting selection of artworks. Uh, but we're actually heading into the recorded music on 45s. So they've got a selection of 45s. They want you to try and keep them in alphabetic order. And they have sets of uh, cutlery and silverware. Some nice vintage pieces of uh, dressers and wall units, including inside that one, they've got some chimneys for uh, old lamps. Now, they do come in reproduction and they're authentic originals. So you need to know your your video. Well, I haven't changed the outro yet, but here we are. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. And if you could give us a thumbs up, then I'll make you subscribe. And if you want to, I'll tinkle on the bell.